yeah, I'm number four, and my name is Tehani. Hello, guys. Good afternoon. Um, I have a, a lot of surprise experience in my life. In the middle of them, I'm going to talk about my special one. It happened to me three years ago. In the time I was a soldier, I worked, uh, worked at in front of the line, what is called DMJ for years. I've, I thought, I had thought that day will be also a normal day. It was my misapprehension. After that, I came back. I finished my job that makes a line of in inspection with my partner. After that, I came back to my camp. I tried to sleep. Finally, I managed to sleep. While I w was sleeping, all of a sudden, all of the all of the sudden, the the emergency siren started to, started to go off. I woke up with my eyes closed and half. At the moment, an officer entered my camp, yelled at me, yelled at, and also our squad. This is a real situation. Someone who is um, um, is in other camp has run away from his military unit five hours ago. So be prepared for such an operation right now. Then as soon as I heard that, I was ready to go in no time. I had to prepare many things, such as making my my face up in military camo and preparing to shut and so on. Having prepared, I moved our sector. Then I started to the I started the operation. Even though it was very cold and dark, we had to keep investigating without missing a beat. I had thought in the long run he will be caught by my team. After three hours, I got a message from the main camp. He was cut, cut by the other team before he was cut. He was about to commit suicide, but he, but he, but the team was able to stop him at the last last minute. It is a little difficult story to understand. I know. Is it so far so good? I don't think so, but <laughs> then, the, then the man went to the jail. I'm not sure he is still in jail, but working out of military is big problem. Moreover, he was with a gun and bullets. That's all. Thank you. Wow.